and welcome to another blowy day on the Suffolk coast here. So we are on episode five, I think, of the Suffolk coastal path today. So we're heading from Sizewell down to Snape. blowing an absolute hooli every time we come down onto the coast to do a bit of this blooming walk. So yeah, so we've got Sizewell just behind us. Today's finish is going to be Snape. Uh, we're going to be walking a little variation of the footpath today, so we're going to keep on to the coast as much as we can. It does go inland a little bit at Thorpness and Albra there. And at Albra it, um, it comes inland uh, to bypass the River Deben and uh, come up on the other side, the south side of the River Deben. Um, the initial plan was to, uh, to walk along Orford Ness and then use some pack rafts to get across the river there, but uh, we found out that uh, Orford Ness is a no-go. It's owned by the National Trust. It was an old MOD site, and uh, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no public access to that area, so we'll just have to follow the Suffolk coastal path. Up you get, dog. Stop rolling in crap. Come on. So we'll come off the beach, just onto the cliff top really, because it's not as blowy as what it is down on the beach there. So we just passed um, Sizewell Hall, and uh, yeah, beautiful walk along the cliff top here. You've got all the bluebells all in flower, and uh, North Sea just to, the, just to the left there. And next stop, Thorpe Ness. So we'll just come onto the cliff path. There's a warning sign just on the beach there that the cliff is unstable and uh, you can't, or it's not so easy to access along the beach there too due to the broken sea defences. So uh, we're literally just north of uh, Thorpe Ness now. You can see the house in the clouds just over yonder, which is uh, quite an interesting and quite a quirky little uh, place to see and, and even to stay in, I think it's a holiday let. But yeah, so just uh, through Thorpe Ness and then back down onto the beach and then we'll be at Aldebra, or Albra, whatever you want to call it. Right, so we've just come away from the sea for a bit now, so we're just on the headland here, just about across the road that runs from Aldebra to Thorpe Ness and uh, take the Suffolk coastal path. It comes away from the coast now. Uh, it cuts through North Warren Nature Reserve, around by the golf course, and then got a little bit just along the main road for a bit. And uh, then we come onto the west side of uh, Alderborough. And all of this is to basically just uh, get around the River Deben, which uh, breaks out into an, uh, quite a wide sort of estuary uh, just uh, west of Alderborough. So this part of the footpath takes us through Oldborough Golf Course. So you just need to watch out from projectiles. It's not a huge part of the footpath today that goes through the golf course. And then like I said before, we then just got a bit along the main road, which isn't going to be that great. And then uh, that breaks off uh, southwest through uh, some set of forest, I can't remember the name of it, Blackwoods or something like that. 
My favorite place to be is right here Not thinking about what brings me down yeah. My favorite way to be without fear So that went too long Probably about 10 minutes along the main road We're now going to cut right There's another car park here And uh, this has got to take us through the woods Floating, enjoying my freedom Seeing off gear I like it better when I'm under the sun Ooh Right, so we're nearly done for today. We've probably got about a kilometre left before we get back to the van. And uh, then we've just got to go pick the car up at Sizewell. But it's been a nice walk today. It's been nice, actually. I know it's the Suffolk Coastal Path, but it's been nice just to come through the woods and uh, get away from that wind, because it is a bit brisky today. So anyway, another kilometre, and we'll be back at the van. Right, so there we go. So that's us done today. So a total of 14K along the Suffolk Coastal Path today from Sizewell down to uh, Snape Warren. It's been a cracking day out. It's been nice just to come inland from the coast a little bit, just to get a bit of a break from that blooming wind that we've had there, because it's blowing an absolute hoolie. It's always the same every single time we're on the, on part of the Suffolk Coastal Path. Really enjoyed it today. So yeah, I'll stick a total of the, the distance that we've done just in the corner there, because I can't remember what we've done in total. Uh, with 14K and what we've done previously before. So thanks for watching this week's video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button just below there. And then episode four is there and one of the other episodes there for you to take a look at. And we'll see you next time on the next one.